and presence in game number one. Now that they have the Uranus, they're going and hovering over on the rock with the Dyroth as well. There's going to be a lot of dive to provide cover for that Xavier, for that Beatrix in the back. This is a composition that we've seen um, a lot recently. And I don't know, in my honest opinion, I still like BTK's draft better combat. I like BTK's draft better. I, I can't go opposite of that. Um, they've got Xavier, they've got Beatrix. Um, and they have Dyroth, you know, a direct counter to that Esmeralda. So, you know, we're really going to see how they, um, how they play this. Um, it's going to be interesting if BTK can really bring this back. And if they can't, it's going to be one of the biggest upsets in NA history, I guess. The biggest upset in NA the history. Biggest, the biggest. Best of three, reminder to everybody watching, ladies and gentlemen, this is make it or break it for BTK. They will be eliminated if they do lose this game. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the land of Dawn. Meta trying to close this out with a clean sweep, making it the biggest upset in NA MLBB history. As BTK, they try to come back. They need to go for, they need to try hard here in game number two to equalize. You know, one thing I'm really surprised about, back to the ban, the ban and pick phase, is the whole um, not picking, um, not banning Karina by meta. They were really saying, just, just pick Karina, go, go, pick her. We have, we have Clint, disengage. We have um, Eve, the bit of a slow when you try to jump in. So, you know, I kind of, I kind of like the, um, the aggression from um, meta, just really not, um, not trying to ban out Zane at all. Yeah, just, saying, uh, just do your thing. They, I feel like they kind of understand already, right? Um, combat. I feel like they know that Moba Zane, he has a lot of heroes in his pool currently. But look at this, Annie going in for the minion cut into that top side. Moba Zane instantly just jumping there to provide some pressure. As in the bottom side, we already see a little bit of pressure put there, placed by Shark. Again, both teams not really playing it too aggressively, just opening up the map, putting, you know, just doing the, uh, the ordinary early game stuff in the first minute. We're not seeing any more crazy plays happening, but there is already something different. Mid lane, Kush winning it out against the Seed. Well, uh, Xavier has that uh, that reach that can really deal with the Eve. Um, it's just um, you see Zane; he has that that path that he takes. Doesn't matter if he sees someone else or um, you know another enemy or or his teammates fighting. He'll just take his wave and you know continue on. His oh, and he dives into Esme, I think. First blood, first blood yeah, over to um, nice first blood to Uranus there. First blood over to right, Uranus chicken. is Moba Zane. Mm -hmm. Moba Zane pops up, goes in for the gank, and uh, Uranus is the one who picks up the kill, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if that was intentional, you know, maybe putting the pressure, putting, tr trying to put some gold onto the hands of White Chicken to win out in that lane, but Howell will be able to trade it here for the purple buff down below. Zane already on the turtle. They're looking to go for it. They will be able to pick it up. And there you go. Some trades already on the board, but BTK winning it out. Moba Zane, though, maybe a little bit but too aggressive. But if you make him a mistake. Locks him in place, and there you go. The ultimate, the triple oh. sweep comes in with the backup from Mikasa to lock him down. That's the kill picked up. Annie looking for another one onto Fly Chicken, who still has the consecration ready. Will not choose to pop it up just yet. Just goes in for the clear, natural plays, but BTK still in the lead. You know, it was really a little, a little bit careless there by Zane. You know, to, um, to just dive headfirst into their jungle knowing that the side of meta is rotating because they just lost the turtle they know that you're going for his blue so um kind of a kind of a strange engage there by zane yeah we're seeing a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes here from zane from just btk in general but in the bottom side they're already looking for a gang six once again jumping in forcing that nibiru's passion out to clear out the way damage already actually just relieve pressure yeah for a meta for serious to find better position and also to find that uh jungle creep there maybe getting a little bit of a lead once again up against Zia, he knows on the clint that he will actually lose out in the late stage of the game uh, especially now now that Zia is actually level 6, this is where Zia can actually have kill pressure in that lane. And we do see, you know, Grok, uh, Shark's just, you know, roaming around the land of dawn. Not really trying to engage with anyone at the moment. Um, he's just getting that, uh, that space for his team. But you oh. do see him getting... Ah, uh, that was a... That was interesting. 
Interesting. Very interesting, oh, oh. right? Yeah. yeah. I guess you can kind of say that Howl was kind of limit testing there, right? He did go into a tank, onto a tank. But Shark, whoa, places the wall, goes in for the wild charge. <laughs> Unfortunately, he doesn't get six there, and he will actually lose out on a very important resource. But it's fine, because Meta, they did the same thing. Howl does not have his ultimate. That's one of the biggest ultimates right here for Meta to lock someone down. But it seems like they want to look for this fight here. Spy Chicken trying to zone out the members from the side of Push! Meta. Push caught in a bad situation. Mystic Field pops through, gets two players immobilized, as that buys enough time for Moba Zane to pick up the turtle. Kush, though, forced to pop the sprint, goes in, gets the Mystic Field onto two once again. Doesn't have the Dawning Light to follow it through with the damage. But Zia, he's looking for it. He goes Go on in a bad him down yeah. with the help of the circling eagle and that's a kill over to meta traded for objectives on the board so that was a kill for a blue buff pretty much so xavier stole the blue buff of saber but he was able to get you know something in return um really strange uh rotation there by by zia because he, yeah. he did have he did have vision so it was really strange that he would walk into a saber um but we do see BTK taking that tower. Get killed, trade a tower. That is that macro play of BTK that I, I love and remember and missed last game. Yeah, what you're saying in the first game is now actually happening in the second, but in the mid lane, that's a solo kill. Mikasa getting the kill, getting out as well. Moba Zane trying to look for the kill, but Mikasa's just too slick with it. He got a solo kill onto Kush and he gets out there. Again, Mikasa just showing that mechanical prowess he has on this Yeeve as Meta, they're just going for it. Eh? Wait, did he steal the perp? The he did! He stole he the perp up away from Moba Zane without the retribution. He just stole it away with a blade <laughs> wow zane must be a little bit um you know uh, i can just picture zane saying cool cool oh but down below though they're looking for a bit some strike dawning light revealing a little bit of the map here once again as mikasa comes down always so on point the rotation mid lane though that's a triple sweep look at that solo kill once again oh. on to kush they're so good at playing these split you know, split pick game. This is insane by how it really does feel like BTK are being outclassed in, in the rotations in the kill game. Mirko, what are we seeing at the moment? I, I don't know if I'm awake yet. Uh, dude, uh, it's 5 a.m. in the morning right now, and I don't feel... I feel awake. I feel awake right now. It does feel like it's in a dream currently. A dream? BTK, they're, they're, they're losing in the early stages of the game. Sure, they have the goldie, but a triple sweep once again onto Flight Chicken. Will be popped. Purify and the Consecration. Not... Wait, Consecration actually not popped just yet. Falling time will go to the backside as Annie tries to look for compensation once again to this engage. Flight Chicken looking for more. Re-engages into the fight. Finds six, and that's the collapse from Moba Zane. Annie running for his life, but will be first down by Zia in the mid lane as Fly Chicken once again puts some pressure onto that mid mid lane turret. BTK looking to take it down. That's the real world manipulation getting Kush again. 1v4. It's still a solo kill for Mikasa. Mikasa is dangerous. You can't get near Mikasa. And Kush was, Kush was a little bit too close to that tower there. Um, but I just want to say this is the BTK that we know and love. Once it hits seven minutes, You've got that off laner, Uranus fr Fried Chicken, pushing the lanes, taking the objectives, making sure that he keeps Esmeralda or whoever wants to uh, defend the lanes and defend the towers, make them accountable for their lanes. Don't let them just, you know, uh, bully Zia. Don't let them bully Zane. And we do have an engage and... <laughs> uh, they just literally got destroyed. Was there one second, gone the next. Now you see him, now you don't. And he just don't. disappeared from the map down below. And yeah, I, I kind of agree, right? I can kind of see what you're saying here. This is the BTK we want to see. The BTK that plays a common collected, waiting for those mistakes to happen before they actually pop and get those kills. They get it, and now look at the pressure that they were able to create from it. The the convert the conversion, right? From kills to objectives, still on point from BTK. But now let's take a look at the items. 6,000 gold to, um, to Beatrice above um, Clint. So Beatrice is doing, uh, Zia's doing a lot better job right now at farming. And that really came down to taking all the gold plating off the tower as well as, he, as Zia could. And getting the, um, you know, the uh, counter engages from Shark whenever they tried to uh, take Zia down. 
Oh, but yeah, they actually are going to lose one member there. Howl, a little bit too aggressive, goes in for the triple sweep onto Shark. As Shark was able to just punish him there. But again, BTK, they know that they have the upper edge here in that top side. Sirius left all alone. They're looking for the dive. White Chicken tanking up the turret. Will pop the consecration, jumping all the way to the back lines there. But Mikasa has the damage ready to take him down. That's Sirius picking up the kill. But BTK, they're the ones to have to get the turret in that top side. Tier two taken down. And BTK, they're they're getting a lot of pressure here. That, that was a good trade, because you didn't have Zayn there. Zayn is literally just farming up right now. He's level 14. Um, the, once, once they hit 7 minutes for the side of BTK, they really implement that uh, Ube strat, re really. Um, you know, they, they let the um, Uranus offlaner push and the oh. team really just do their thing. Okay. Yeah, but look at Zia though, with the flanking uh, Beatrix going in for the Debrus passion, but Sirius comes in to pick up the kill onto it. Moba Zayn a little bit too extended here, as he will most probably lose out on his life. He jumps back in for one more re-engage, as White Chicken tries to follow it up, but it is Sirius who picks up the kill again. In the 10th minute of the game, it feels like BTK, they're overextending, they're overcommitting onto these team fights, and they've lost two members. White Chicken now taken low, looking to run away, as Hal tries to lock him down, goes oh. for triple sweep, but will be cancelled out by that Purify. Dawning Light onto two with the Mystic Field locking Annie down, but Annie does not care. He still wants to keep on going. His shark opens up the map once again. He doesn't have the wild charge. He's gonna lose his life, and that's the Lord to take it away by Meta. Kush forced to back up. White Chicken as well was not able to get into that Lord Pit, and again, we're seeing Meta flip the game here in the, in the second game, in the 10th minute, in the same exact way they did it in game one. Now, just because of BTK's macro play, they can defend this. Um, but, uh, like you said, it's the same way as game one. Can BTK withstand this snowball effect that's happening right now? Well, right now they are actually handling it pretty well. Fly Chicken trying to bait out a lot of these abilities, and he's losing out a lot of health there. But Sirius has been left untouched. Free hitting on the back lines, as that's going to be the triple sweep onto Moba Zane. Doesn't really get the pick off. Six, losing his life. BTK with a one for zero. Meta did not really achieve the much there. Um, they didn't really take a tower, and they lost the life of their Roma, so. They could have they could have approached that a little bit better. Instead of all going with the Lord, maybe split push, make them accountable so one has to leave the team fight. So maybe you have an upper hand there. But then again, BTK is just really good right now at their at their macro play. Watch. The the way that um they'll make them feel accountable to go defend those lanes is um is just on point. And the way that meta is answering it back uh, this is one of the best games i've seen in this tournament by far it, it's tough it's gonna be really tough right like because meta they really know how to team fight sure btk in in the second game here we, we can kind of see that in terms of the macro play in terms of the objective play it is actually btk who's winning it out but in the team fight game when to go for these fights and when to go for these picks meta are the meta ones is to do it. they are the ones to be the proactive ones here they're the aggressors btk are just waiting maybe a little bit too much in this game as meta get another pick off on the board Luckily for BTK, there is nothing to take for meta. But again, as the game progresses, BTK, more longer death timers on the board. It's going to be tough if they lose these members left and right. But we do see BTK coming back. Now they have the gold lead. So, do we see a late game comeback? Oh, they're looking for a play. Shark goes in for wild charge, and that's the Mystic Field. Onto three, real world manipulation. Oh. No way, Mikasa again. That positioning to lock them down. Sia goes in for the flicker, but he's not in range to dish out the damage with the Wesker. And just like that, they find another one. This is exactly what I was mentioning. They keep on getting these picks, and they know when to back off. Every single time, BTK are over committing into these plays, and they're falling right into the hands of Meta. This is a team that has done their homework. They want this grand prize. They want this championship. They want to be known. And they're trying to take out one of the best in the world right now. Third the place top at the world championships. 
Yeah, but they're looking for more here. Falling Star Moon locking Fly Chicken down, but they know they do not want to overcommit, putting onto the resources towards Fly Chicken. Fly Chicken popping that Consecration will be able to regen to full HP. They're going for the 50-50 play here. This not this might not be wise. The Shark jumps in with a wild charge, will be able to take him down. Now it's all down to the Retribution, but Zia is the one who gets it. The yeah, real world go. manipulation is able to find one. Fly Chicken taken low, still able to run away with the help of that Purify BTK. They find the objective. They fall back and look at Kush. He got that Mystic Field. The Dawning Light just unfortunately not enough damage to take anyone down. But again, we're here. BTK, they've come back. Meta now on the back foot. That was a, a wonderful Lord, a Lord still by Zia. I really thought, um, I love the damage that um, that Zane, he let, he let uh, um, Hal take a lot of damage from the Lord. And then he's like, okay, I'll jump in now and finish you off. Really smart play, really, really good patience from the side of BTK and Zane there. Just picking off, picking your fights, choosing when to go in, you know, let's calm down. We finished third in the, you know, M3. Oh, but can we see BTK come back? Mm -hmm. They're looking for the collapse once again. Real world inflation open up. Kush pop that, popping that sprint to get away. Good defense from Meta, but they do lose out on a base turret down below. They're losing the tier two in the mid lane as well. BTK ruthless with the siege. They're looking for more. Shark goes in for the wall, not finding anyone there. But the snipe and the dawning light taking a lot of HP from Mikasa there. But they're looking for a reengage. That's a triple sweep onto Shark. Only the roamer right now, but that's serious. Who picks up the kill? Annie locking quite chicken down. They're looking for the for more. Damage for more in this team fight, but BTK now. Oh my gosh! Gets the dawning light right through, finding Mikasa in the back line. I think that's Mikasa's first death in this series. You're right. Someone had to take Mikasa out. Oh, and Mikasa wasn't even in the four and four. Push. Gonna get taken down there. Sirius goes in. Triple C once again onto Flight Chicken, who loses out a lot of HP. Circling Ego onto Zayn, bringing his friends back in. Flight Chicken still trying to run away with a consecration available, but it's gonna be Howl who has the triple sweep ready. Not just yet, just on cooldown. Abyssum Strike though by Moba Zayn. Going to cancel it through. He jumps back away. Shark is here. And this. Oh my god, the wall actually will be able to lock them in place, but it just gives better the opportunity for Sirius to dish out so much damage for free. Fight Chicken gonna be caught. That's the triple sweep once again onto Zayn and the Circle Dang. Eagle to follow it through. Fight Chicken jumps in onto two, but the damage here. Look at Sirius, he wants more. He goes in under the turret. He doesn't find it, but they lose Zayn in this fight. Zayn will be back up for the, uh, the, the Lord. Hopefully he's got 26 seconds, Lord in 15 seconds. If his team can, you know, zone them out, make sure they, they don't go for the Lord, then it should be okay. Because they do have their lanes pushed, um, so there's not much real trouble there with Zane going down. Whoa, Unless we're gonna right really now. push this. Are they trying like they to get should. the Lord? Trying yeah, to get the Lord? seconds Zane on Zane. He, he's a die rod. Not really that mobile, got, right? So. This is what they need to do, meta. Again, they're forcing it. Howl has lost so much HP. He's looking for this Lord. White Chicken dealing out so much damage, but again, they're forcing it. Shark with the Wild Charge, able to take his immortality down as they're still trying to force it through. Retribution doesn't come through, but it's Sirius who picks it up for meta. They find the kill onto the front liner of BTK. White Chicken down. Moba Zane looking for compensation, jumping onto six, but that's not even the immortality pop just yet. Annie jumping onto Moba Zane, locking him down, trying to buy some time as Meta tries to come back into this fight. Moba Zane is still on the gold buff. He goes in for Retribution. He goes back in onto Annie. To this out. is a mistake. Moba Zane gonna get pinned no. down because it does not have the real world inflation, but he will fall. Moba Zane taken now. Shark is next. Popping that flicker to get out, but Meta, they have done it. They got the Lord two members down from BTK. They might go for the end right here. Uh, I'm, I'm speechless. If Meta win this, this is the biggest upset ever. 
biggest upset ever right here being written down by Meta in the real world. Nicolation oh comes to take Shark down. A legendary pick up by Sirius. They're looking to close out the game here. Fly Chicken hey, still able to zone them away coming. as they look for more. Siege down below. Mystic Field catching Mikasa, but he's still able to get away with that sprint. See oh my god. To get taken down. And again, Fly Chicken solo trying to get away. Gets the HP sustaining oh, back up, but Sirius picks it up. TK have been knocked out of NACT, the biggest upset in NA MLBB history. GG, well played, Meta. Oh my God, Meta, you are the new Meta. I, the uh, BTK's out. I, am I awake? Single elimination. BTK are out. Am I awake? This is crazy. I have the same question, buddy. Wow. I, again, I am, I am truly speechless here. I think if you take a look at the polls, uh, before, before this game, right? Before the first game, it was 90% for BTK. It did swap over. It did go over towards meta after that first game. But again... Look what at how they move. Here. Look at how they move as a team. There's no one below 60% on the team fight participation. They were always there for each other. At the... Wow. BTK I... have been knocked out of NACT.